Hello and welcome to today's video. As many of you know that watch my videos, know that I sometimes do videos with a 3D pen. So I got my 3D pen a while back and I really enjoy it. But one thing I notice is, you know, when you sit there and draw out your character with the 3D pen, it's not very smooth. And I've saw, you know, other YouTubers and I've seen their creations and they look really smooth. I'm like, how do they do that? You know, and I know you can use a lighter and heat it up and smooth it, but that's not, it didn't, it looked better than that. So I watched a few more videos and I saw them using a mini iron. So I went ahead and ordered this Clover mini iron from Amazon and I'll put an affiliate link down below if you guys want to order one. And so in today's video, I'm going to un, it's not unbox because it's not in a box. I'll unpackage this Clover mini iron and give it a try and see if I can make my 3D pin sculptures have a more smooth effect to them with this mini iron. All right, let's get started. All right, so there's not much to this. Like I said, it's not really an unboxing, it's an unpackaging. But we have the Clover Mini Iron, art number MCI-900. I will put an affiliate link down below. So the Mini Iron that makes it quick and easy and fun. So this features a compact mini iron size ideal for detailed work. Lightweight body, 3.2 ounces, long electrical cord, 8 foot. Slide switch for temperature heating adjustments, off, medium to high. Low and high settings from polyester to cotton materials. Yeah, we're going to try plastic. Mini iron standard included voltage 120 volts, one year limited warning. warranty. Iron settings, low settings is polyester, high settings is cotton. So we're looking at polyester 140 plus high 220 plus so i think i'm gonna i'll start with the polyester setting and go from there so let's go ahead it says instructions are enclosed but i think i can figure it out so we're just gonna rip this back part off we've got a little stand for it hopefully it's better than my stand for my 3d pen because that does not work we've got our mini iron instructions So it just says the compact mini iron is perfect for pressing, quick, quick bias, and stained glass quilting, applicating, press seams, paper crafting, and many other sewing or quilting projects. Yeah, we're using with your 3D filament from your 3D pen. We're gonna we're gonna assume it'll work for that. The mini iron is easy to use on even the smallest details. The mini iron sole plate makes ironing quick and easy and fun. Equipped with a low and high temperature set settings, the compact mini iron can handle all your projects quick and easy. The mini iron, mini iron heats up to operational temperatures in less than 10 minutes. Note, when first plugging in your mini iron, there may be a small amount of smoke on the tip end. The smoke stops for a in a short amount of time and this will not reoccur. Re blah, blah, blah. Um, this is pretty much the same information as on the back. It says, cautions, do not touch metal rod or iron sole plate to avoid burning your finger. That is a good tip. Uh, oh, there's more. Do not touch metal wire on uh, mini iron stand to avoid burning your finger when iron is resting on it. Completion of work allow mini iron to cool naturally or insert in mini iron cooling tote bag. I believe that is sold separately. When cool, remove any soil from mini iron sole plate with damp cloth. For hard to remove materials, use alcohol or good iron cleaner. I'm assuming that's cool and I'll keep out of the reach of children. Well, after this, my wife might say keep out of the reach of Andrew, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. So we're gonna set that stuff aside. We've got our base. Don't need that. So we're gonna undo this. 
Ooh, it's got a little fancy cover. I'm like sidetracked with, you know, neat little things. A little twist tie we save for later. Look at that little plastic cover for our plug-in. Now I do have my power strip right down here, so I don't have to go too far. I do that because my 3D pen doesn't have a long extension, so we're going to go with low. And I'm assuming you just rest it like that, and it flips around. That's nice. I was being sarcastic. That doesn't seem right. You don't want it to go down because that's going to get hot. See, I'm assuming you want that rusting, but that's too thick to do it there, so it's got to rest there. But I guess that works. So we're going to let this sit for a while and we'll come back to it. All right, so last week I did a live stream and I made this little monster with the whole sole purpose of having a piece to test out my mini iron. Now, I've done other 3D pen projects. If you guys have watched my channel, you've seen those. But I wanted to do something with this in mind. And I thought this would give me a lot of different surfaces to try out and see how it works. So I'm going to see what I can do here. I have had this warming up for a little bit. And it doesn't seem to be doing anything yet. That's gotten a little sticky but it doesn't even feel warm from being on there so I'm gonna be impatient and turn it up to high all right I let it sit for a while it's definitely been it's 10 minutes that the packaging recommended you know who, who knew that that's what you know you should follow so I'm hoping it's warm you know you can't really touch it or you shouldn't touch it Oh, yeah, it's definitely sticking more. Might not be up to the total, but you can see it's smoothing there. It does make kind of a mess on there, so I don't know how to avoid that. But you can see it does smooth it out some. And this will be a learning process, you know, of maybe even working with the filament and getting it just how I want it and then you know touching it up with the mini iron. I definitely need more practice with my 3D pen before I do pieces that I you know are at the quality level I want them to be I should say. I, I think I've had some really fun pieces and I, I like the way this guy turned out. Even though he wasn't quite what I had envisioned. So I'll probably go ahead and speed this footage up here. All right, so that took about 20 minutes, and he's still not done. Now I was gonna stop there and just have it be a you know a good test of the mini iron, but I'm really just not satisfied with how well it's smoothed it out, and I don't think it's necessarily the mini iron's fault. It's just how much time I put into it. So I'm gonna spend some more time on this and see what I can do with it. And then I will show you the finished results of my mini iron test. Now, this whole section here gets hot, not just the tip. And I and also oh, this little holder here, because it's resting on metal, that gets really hot too. 
so I did kind of, you know, bump into this stuff when I was doing it, even when I was holding it, or you're holding this and you're worried about, you know, bumping your finger into the, in the iron section. So I wised up and decided to wear some gloves. These are just kind of some, I think they're leather gloves. You could probably get some better ones at the hardware store. This is just what I had on hand. So I'm going to start with these and try that out and see if that helps. You know, make sure make sure you always wear whatever personal protective equipment you need to wear for your projects. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, use the gloves, spend some more time on this guy, and then we'll take a look at the finished test of the mini iron. Now I'm just using a paper towel, a dry paper towel to clean this off. It said to use a wet cloth, but I think that's, you know, when it's cooled down, I didn't want to mess with that. This does work. It cleans it off pretty good, but it does stick a little bit because of that plastic filament. And then obviously I don't leave it on the paper towel very long because it's still hot. I don't want it to burn, but if it cools, that plastic's just going to harden. So that's not going to come off very easy. So if somebody has a better idea for how to clean them in iron, please leave it in the comments down below. One thing I learned when I went back to doing this is to let it sit for a while. And you can see by doing that, it melts that area a little more. And another issue I had is when I would heat up this plastic because it's not very thick, it would indent. So I think it would be better to do almost like two layers to my sculptures with the 3D pen, if that's possible. And you can see here, he's got a little bit of a hole there. So I'm gonna let this iron sit on there for a little bit and see if I can smooth that out. All right, I'm gonna get this guy finished up and we'll take a look at the final results of the mini iron. Here's the little monster that I made with my 3D pen on my last live stream and smoothed with my mini iron. Now, I'm guessing it, I spent about an hour, maybe a little bit more, smoothing it with the mini iron. And it was definitely a learning process. I'm not 100% happy with the results, but it's I feel that's more me than the mini iron. Just, you know, I need to learn it and learn some more techniques with the 3D pen when I create it so it's more suited for use with the mini iron. You know, like if I don't want the colors to blend, I need to do something a little bit different that way. You know, here where it sunk in a little bit, I needed to have it thicker. And so just things to keep in mind when I make my next 3D pen sculpture that I want to use the mini iron on. And, you know, I could even do something in several pieces so I could smooth each piece and then attach it. Just depends on what I decide to make and what I want my results to be. Overall, I am really happy with the mini iron, but it, you know, it did take a lot longer. It was a lot harder to work with than I initially thought, but that's okay. It's, you know, everything's a learning process and it'll get better with more practice. Definitely, if you get one, definitely use gloves. Like I said, I would recommend even going to the hardware store and see if they have some heat resistant ones. You can probably get ones that are a little bit tighter fitting. I've seen them there for, you know, different handyman work, automotive work maybe for hot parts. Um, I'm not a mechanic, but something that you could talk to the hardware store about and see what they have. So I'll get you a good look. He's not, like I said, he's not 100% smooth, but it definitely smoothed him out. I could even go back over and sand him some, but I just wanted to see what his results were by using the mini iron. I didn't want to do a bunch of work on him afterwards and say, oh, this is what he looks like, because that's not accurate. I want you to know exactly what he looked like when I was done with the mini iron. And then if I want to, I can go in and do some more work on him, you know, with sanding and maybe even like painting the eyes to give him a little more definition. But for now, this was a good test of the mini iron. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. It 
greatly helps the channel grow. All right, well, thanks for watching, and remember, never stop creating. Bye!